Chaz always wanted to be number one, but he couldn't succeed in school, sports, or even video games. They say that every person should have natural talent, but he doesn't. He's the most ordinary. Walking home one day, two guys called out to him, saying that he had good energy and they would send him rays of goodness. The hero didn't understand anything at first, but it turned out that these two were just going to rob him. Chaz tried to prove to the bandits that he had no money with him and could not give them anything. The guys were not going to leave empty-handed and agreed to take only half the amount from him. Not having time to receive money from the hero, they began to swear and argue about how they would divide their profit. The schoolboy took advantage of the moment, and while the two were quarreling, he decided to quietly escape from them. But the plan failed, and the bandits noticed him. They even thought that he had deliberately quarreled them in order to topple them. Saying that this would not have happened if he had given them the money right away, they hit him in the face. The guy was in a lot of pain, confused. He closed his eyes and instinctively began to wave his fists. Without expecting this at all, he was able to hit one of the bandits in the face quite hard. The second one was very angry, and he rushed at the guy to avenge his comrade. But Chaz realized his strength. This time he did not panic and knocked out the second bandit. The hero did not know whether it was an accident or fate, but a hidden talent had finally awakened in him. He is incredibly strong, and thanks to this he has a chance to finally become the best at something. The Czech hurried to tell his friend about this. Now it remains to decide in which area he can become the best with such talent. His friend was not as enthusiastic as good physical abilities can be. A classmate believes that there are only two things a high school student can use physical abilities for. The first is to become an athlete and bring glory to the country, but this requires capital to find a good coach. The second option is to start a career as a police officer or firefighter, but there is huge competition among applicants every year. Chaz has no money. He's not very good at school either, so there's no point in even trying. You might as well give up right away. Although no, there is another option. It does not require money or good grades, only strength. The leader of the Muar group named Carlos asked one from their subordinates like, he dared invite them such young guy. On what subordinate replied that, that asked to see them. So, how dreams become number alone in gangster world. Boss warned newbie what to him need to be ready for anything anything and listed all the atrocities that they are doing. In it time mafia were waiting police officers, them need to in what would that neither became catch their leader Carlos. But it was worth it them enter the room like they saw that all bandits were neutralized and beaten. Chaz Sonny during the day was walking by park and sat down on bench, clearly waiting someone. For a long time sit waiting not had to, from bushes jumped out. His father is a beggar, handsome David. Son asked father send him to the academy, but David. This only made me laugh, because he had no neither connections, nor money. Him even no no abilities. His can ask only that, maybe execute beggar. David. Not understood what this Chezu impatient, because he's studying not important success. Perhaps, he decided refuse from searches his talent, Son replied that one talent little, needed more experience, and he has such no and father. This wonderful new, talent amazing thing, after all only thanks to his dazzling beauty, David lives how best among beggars. Not having time finish mine monologue. To father had to again dive into the bushes, so how he noticed bandits who must money. Chaz not became watched then this all will end and was going to leave, saying father to that better hid. But David stopped son and held out to him sheet paper really very similar on ordinary garbage. This gift, thanks this things. Chaz will be able to find someone who will help to uncover his force. On leaflet was vacancy. Ongoing kid hero interns. Education. Not need experience not needed. Looking for strong person. Chaz I gathered my courage and immediately went by the address indicated on leaflet to pass the interview. In it time there same. With this same leaflet stood 35 year old Andre and not could understand there whether he came. Seems address true. Worth it go into the building, but company all equals is in very strange area. Judging by local hustle and bustle, it becomes straight away it's clear that he got it cheap area. But what more can expect from companies with such low requirements for candidates, parents? Andre strongly his sawing behind what's in your 30. He before these since then without constant work. This the only thing place where accepted his documents. At least they are not knows that means be a hero, but costs try. Coming out from the elevator, it straight away called out the girl seems to be she invited his on interviews. She introduced herself Tani. Andre straight away paid attention on that which she honey and what are her unusual ears like Elvin. Tani was very glad that he came because they have not was candidates whole 12 years. Andre. This not strongly surprised who had all once come to such the wilderness. The more this means what his chances much rise. Today special day for companies. 
After all, it's arrived whole two candidate. Tanya asked, wait, Andre next to more one guy. This disappointed guy, yes here too coming kid interns that at all here does high school student. Expectation was short-lived, them invited to the office for interviews straight away together. For table sat Tanya and more one man. Boy straight away noticed this, the man he has tattoo near eyes, looked very frighteningly. By law meanness, first questions become set Andre and all. They were very detailed and meticulous. His this very confused, he not could boast of assessment and in vacancies was it is written that education, not it has values. Questions for the first applicant, Tanya is over two got ready move on to the next one, Chaz. But her colleague her interrupted, saying that she sets too much boring questions. It interested something other. His name is Harvey, nickname Warrior Flame and he wants to know only one, strong, whether the guys who came on interview. Andre not expected such question and a little I'm confused, but Chaz straight away same firmly said, yes. This all what need to was no Harvey, more questions. Not there will be an interview completed, both candidate accepted. Tanny not expected such turning events and ran behind departing boss, asking guys wait. Young woman tried catch up him, explaining that it is forbidden. So just accept pupil. But Harvey said that they strong and this enough. Tanny insisted that candidates must pass the 12 tests, including number on physical and mental abilities. This order headquarters. Once at the headquarters, there is rules by welcome at Harvey's appeared thought. How from this get out, and he threw Tanny yellow craft card. This ideal plan they strong, that is already heroes, and if they will cope, then headquarters there exactly will approve. Tani, this incredible made me angry at first. He accepts candidates without all sorts of tests and then sends on task where they can die. But Harvey was spit on emotions, girls. He already accepted decision, and not became continue with her talk. For guys reported that company is engaged extermination villains and they're straight away same send on exercise. Andre this it seems suspicious man interested only physical strength and him more. Not asked others questions. This may be to mean only one thing. They illegal gangster group. Him even though it's needed work. But on such, he never not will agree. The employee who conducted briefing said that at consent they're waiting insurance, high salary and bonuses by results work. Hearing this is Andre stopped worry then here do it right away, same change my mind leave. In the room for supplies guys issued strange dusty robe, calling her shape for transformation. So same issued laser gun 2001, warning that shoot people from her dangerous and worth it her use only by necessity. Employee said that on this briefing over, and they can go on yours exercise. They came out out but not knew that further do, I'm even not indicated road and goal tasks. Here Andre comes message where indicated purpose and address. And it is said that it is forbidden harm people and break public property. And the goal is, Chip is cute YouTuber with 2 million subscribers. Andre even looks his sometimes why them get rid from him. Taking a look on a dress where them necessary arrive. Guy realized that get there on foot need to one and a half hours. We'll have to call taxi. Got into the car at Andre's has begun attack self. Pity imagine that he at all does with his life at 30 years. Chaz not wanted this endure and said partner to that stopped cry. Andre. This strongly outraged, schoolboy, not must look on him from above, only that's why what he is engaged like this in his age. And in general, what Chaz here forgot him required at school study, not on work settle down. Hero admitted that he bad at school and what his basic purpose is become the best, and not what matters is. He wants become famous to everything about him knew absolutely everyone and him will reach this any price. Andre thinks that Chaz too much adult to dream about something like this seemed normal, a boy but turned out to be only nasty child. Arriving on specified place, guys ended up in the park where passed some kind large festival. Andre not knew how them searched Chipa on such huge territory and in such big crowd. But this it turned out, not difficult. He spoke on street stage and everything crowd got ready exactly around him. People was delighted from Bear, lined up huge turn to get autograph from stars. For guys same had to stand in it to approach the target. Chip straight away same no ticed their unusual suits. He thought that they from teams by preparation festival. But Andre said to him, the truth is that they heroes in training and came his exterminate. Surprisingly, Chip was crazy glad this here they strongly delayed. He there very for a long time waited. He turned out to be secret envoy for heroes and him need to hand over them some witch items for execution tasks. Andre, this very apparently calmed down by extermination. It was meant not directly, I mean, but how? Secret word. Chip led their by city where lies equipment for hero in training. He his fine hid it to nobody not could steal. Bear brought heroes to trash tanks. Him it seemed brilliant hide here equipment for whom will come to mind in them climb. Andre leaned over to take a closer look. 
but in appearance there lies ordinary trash and nothing more. Literally next instant, Chip pounced on Hero and cut to him throat one movement. How only he finished with Andre, right away same switch sides on Chessa. Funny same, said he that more. Maybe be in the trash tank? Chip was so hungry all this time. Him was unbearable hard hold back before all this crowd. And now he will be able have a snack Hero. Chaz had tried get it laser, but his fast intercepted. Bear asked his not twitch. After all, to him it's a pity eat his straightaway total entirely. Before how get started yourself delicious. Must for started try it out boy on clove. Chip tore off guy hand like this yummy but it seems that that already disconnected. Sorry. But what to do this only start. Not managed beast tear off from what a more one piece like received strongest blow like he at all smog. This do. Bear wanted with him for a long time have fun but after like this him. Nothing not remains except how eat his entirely. Luckily for the monster, not managed to bring mine plan. Suddenly on protection, boy got up some kind man. Chip realized that not maybe even move. Yeah, who same this bastard who interfered to him. This Yen, by nickname Elf Wind and he, the hero who came. Not give accomplish monster yours crime. Bear not stupid and so realized that he hero. However, he strongly is different from those kids. When monster realized that Yen configured seriously, then shouted that he had peaceful agreement with humanity and it's it is forbidden touch. Such impudence. He dared this say after as Hero saw everything that he did to the poor boys. However, Yen was don't care to monster. Not he said he's in any way case came here kill his. Chip saw tattoo Hero and realized that here to him be dangerous and decided run away. Otherwise he dead body. But far leave he not made it. Ian instantly caught up with and dropped it back on land. Bear panicked and started beg his not touch him had tried prove that guys attacked first and he just defended himself now ready give up. Hero said that monster no necessity give up, after all is all equals waiting death. But Chip continued stand on yours. If he give up, that's right will save to him life and re-educate. Yen all this speech only made me laugh like this beast. Maybe only think about that as will be left alive. Half dead, Andre saw all what is happening and how valid Ian. Now he realized that apparently they are Hero. Chip began squeak that to him need to hold back. He, not will be able return this appearance if will be reincarnated. But to him, not succeeded, and he turned to his final phase. In this form, he much stronger, and him already nobody, not will be able overcome. All of a sudden he felt that he had strongly lit side. This, so it's strange, because Yen his more not managed attack. Really this was hit Togo boys who he recently tore off hand like to him this man aged. On this cannot convert attention, it body became stronger now, no one from here, not leave alive. Even if he he will die will pick up everyone with you. But all these loud speeches Chippa were in vain. Ian Howe as if without special labor just tore monster on pieces. On place arrived Tanya, indicators what a unstable, but all scary already behind, on hand held regeneration cells. Young woman she said that with such loss blood he quite could die like that what he more fine holds. He was absolutely normal. Exactly before Togo moment as to him took a bite hand in it awoke some kind force. Yen asked Tani check maybe. Here somewhere nearby there is more one craft. She reported that one I have, but he is within the jurisdiction's second department and master, not necessarily them study. Color crafting green, its state has changed five hours ago. He is half a monster. Yen ordered Tani not give away his second department. He myself extends there with a newbie. Before full regeneration fabrics left 20 minutes. Yes, what need to check if there is, is this guy something interesting or no? Chaz Almore was without consciousness and through dream heard how his somebody calls, Opening eyes, he saw before yourself monster. Monster congratulated the guy woke up and told him that heard that, if get there before this stage then will appear hero. But also imagine not could that this is true will happen. At all. He just wanted kill those employees companies that bullied above him, but has entered in taste and killed a little more of people. To him very I wanted check new strength. Therefore he hoped on appearance hero, but that showed up and just slept here. Monster not new, they think whether his strong or vice versa underestimated. But anyway, case, such behavior infuriates. Chaz at all. Not understood that happening. Last thing what he remembered this, what he fought with scary looking chip. And further he remembered that to him tore it off and ate at hand. But now she looks quite healthy. Bye. He had tried restore in my head events. Monster not became weight and attack on him. Monster grabbed hero. That to him appeared crazy weak. So neglect his crazy annoys. How they could. So his underestimate took it and sent it to him. Not hero, but some suffocation. Monster continued beat up hero before those for now. Not realized that, that already lost consciousness. Yen decided interfere by scaring his appearance monster. Apparently, 
He, I was wrong about Chessa then was only coincidence. Bye, monster continued freak out but already on Gina. Chaz gathered his courage and stood up on legs. Beast was completely shocked as at all boy smog survive after his blows. Know what stand up. Nothing on this once he exactly his will kill. But what does it feel like same was monster when Chaz withstood more one powerful hit. Inside, what a as if would was charging battery and he has happened. Take pull yourself together and rush into the attack. Investing in the blow all their strength. He destroyed monster and watcher behind this. Yen noticed that for a long time, not was such curious guys. In Utopia, all are partners who sure in each other and share one dream. However, the last disappearance incident Chippa causes some management has doubts. Mistress listened his servant and told him about cooking meat if his begin cook right away after cutting, then can stay disappointed. That's why secret preparations. Very simple. Necessary gain patience and simple wait. Chaz woke up in the hospital ward. That's it. This time to him dreamed about flashbacks with monsters with whom he fought. He came out from chambers and realized that located not in the hospital, but in Compagni, walking by corridor, he heard voices. In another ward talked Ian and Andre. Andre after all managed save, but he was very scared. Andre asked his let go if would he knew that from myself is this work. He would neither behind what not agreed. These words made me angry. Yen, he said guy dump and what to him it's a pity that that survived from dead him was would more benefits. Out into the corridor, Ian met Tani ordered to her rinse brain that yellow haired boyfriend and send his home. On her he same was angry because this she carried out interview and accepted his on work, though he absolutely not fits. When visited in the ward Chessa, he without doubt said that will remain. Here work and not go and give up. In at time very hastened, came running alarmed employee who spent instructions, he said that need to urgently turn on news. By news they reported that it was in the alley were found pieces pink fabrics and paddings. They suggest that this remains missing Chippa. Chip was loved by the people behind his sweetness and kindness but became victim cruel murders. Police will hold thorough investigation in search of the killers. This news more and more angered Yen. He began yell on Tanya. What she not coped with his work and what he not must behind everyone track. But his hysterical interrupted appeared Harvey and suggested to him pass the test on neuropathy. And he reminded Yen what exactly he carries behind all responsibility. Yes, how was leader groups? Here in the corridor burst in director heroes Joaquin by nickname the Keeper Heaven, he said that once they saw news then must understand seriousness situations, and instead in order to something take they arrange quarrels, and must be ashamed behind yourself as behind heroes. Leader Monsters already obviously has reached his final stages evolution, but what was found, this his rejected piece. Noise from news will do headquarters, rumors gradually will fade away, because no no evidence that would indicate it on involvement companies. He understands important support balance this piece. Therefore how director will take on my self-responsibility behind destiny heroes. Yen listened speech Joaquin, but asked his be honest with them. After all on himself in fact, not news or his basic cause arrival. Director praised employee behind observation. He today in the morning heard about a promising newbie. Harvey confirmed rumors about the intern and reported that he and Tani themselves has thoroughly were taken away. But director so same knew that they accepted guy even not having spent to him check exam and lectured behind this Tani. Joaquin ordered Yen become mentor newbie and take his under my responsibility. Yen like this initiative, not by soul, but order it is forbidden. Not obey him too had to get lucky guy on the whole work out the road. He just allowed scolded your superiors. Chezu tired of it, this all listen, and he tried question masters about where his they are bringing what is there is waiting. Yen said that this just test to understand his abilities and do from him hero. After this his job will become more interesting. By road Chaz asked to stay in one place to tell father that he smog gets settled on work. David was incredible proud behind Sundai and he coped and was able to find work in such competitive market. When father noticed Yen, he thought that this employee micro credit organization and hurried hide in your bushes. Chaz returned to the car, but asked masters before sending stop by one more time place by road. They arrived at the house Andre but that already nothing not. I remembered what happened. So same as not remembered what a boy guessed that that already washed brains and not became nothing try explain, but simply ran away. Andre nothing not understood but saw on threshold my hat, money a note of gratitude for what he paid taxi. Now Chaz ready hit the road, but before this he more thanked Yen, after all he saved his from monster. Guys arrived on place, to another branch companies where there met director heroes healers Liam. Ian and Liam straight away same started push on their communication was straight away. It is noticeable that they for a long time, 
not get along. Fortunately, this for a long time, not it took too long, and Liam examined intern. It's surprising that to them joined in appearance at all ordinary schoolboy. Without long questioning, director called employee to newbie led into the office for passing testing, and he himself and Ian remained talk behind cup tea. Yen this company, not was nice, but he all same asked why Liam more ten years, here is wasting away. Director not thought this place like this bad, however was surprised that Yen personally brought here trainee. Yen not became hide, he said the truth he hear, not by his will and sent his here his old boss. To him already not I wanted continue this nonsensical dialogue, your exercise he completed, therefore just decided retire. He was incredible, he's happy finally. Maybe go go home, relax and continue look mine darling series. But not managed he leave building like met Chessa, who reported that his disqualified and sent home. Yen not could understand how this at all perhaps he was to come pass absolutely ordinary and simple test. Employee conducted test E. Myself was crazy surprised by his according to the boy absolutely absent base. They returned to main office companies and reported about everyone to the authorities. He same not could understand how this is not bases. Chezu asked simple question is how much will three multiply on six, even after long thinking. He not smog answer. Yen he was furious had tried set boy simple questions by arithmetic, but that not answered right neither on one from them. Boss realized that the guy no elementary ideas about school knowledge, amazing. This all so brought out from myself Yen what he not withstood emotions, and one blow destroyed wall office. A little later director thanked Tani behind her work. Her for sure have to. It's hard with people like that emotional colleagues. But he all same, not understands one, Chip was monster yellow level like. So it turned out that to him sent not experienced beginners. Tani had to take guilt on herself. She said that counted Chip acute and not so dangerous and was I'm sure that they will cope. However case, not only in this, before monsters, so not attack them, behavior strongly may have changed ahead. Company are waiting heavy times. Andre lay at home houses on couch and watch TV. In this time to him called mom sorry but he not became take handset. In that same moment to him burst in his sister Anya started on him scream behind what he ignores calls mothers. The guy tried to play dumb and said that the phone was far away and he simply didn't see the call. Anya knew that her brother was lying, since he was unemployed. Then at least answer the calls, she was tired of making excuses to her parents because of him. Andre was angry about this. The fact that his sister has a job does not give her the right to talk to him in such a tone. The girl returned to her room and discovered that they had entered her and rummaged through her things. She knew whose hands it was, and immediately returned to yell at her brother again. How dare he touch her personal things. Just because he wanted to do the cleaning doesn't mean he can open her packages. She was holding a flyer with a vacancy for hero trainees. The brother tried to apologize. He just became very curious. And he saw this leaflet. He thought that the company had sent it for Anya to distribute. My sister was furious. This is some other company that used their name, who would even hire people without skills. This whole situation drove her crazy. Why did they send it home to her? She decided to take all the leaflets and try to figure it out. Before leaving, she asked Andre if he was going to fall for it and go to them for an interview. But her brother reassured her that he was not stupid enough to fall for such advertising, which was obviously from scammers. On the way, Anya tried to call her at work. She couldn't believe that they wanted to force her to spread this. Incredibly, she is the hero of the fourth branch, and it is not her job to recruit trainees. She couldn't get through to the company, the answering machine answered. But he wasn't going to give up and would go there in person. Andre went to have a snack in the cafeteria, and at that time he received a message that he was denied another interview. He was still in a good mood, the weather was pleasantly cool outside, and he went home to continue watching TV series. But he is accidentally knocked down by a huge and very muscular passerby. But he immediately apologizes. There's nothing wrong with that, but it made him think about that strange guy who found and returned his lost hat. He continued on his way, being in his thoughts, and did not notice that that pumped up man was following him. Andre had a wonderful evening watching TV series, but did not notice how time flew by. It was already late, and his sister never returned home. As soon as he thought about it, he heard a knock on the door. Anya must have gone on a spree and got drunk. But when he looked outside, he didn't see anyone. It must be a stupid prank, but who cares? Andre returned home and decided that it was worth calling his sister. She usually doesn't stay that long. But suddenly the same muscle man who knocked him down earlier appears from behind him, and he invites Andre to play a game with him. Anya approached the company's office and saw a broken window. It was probably one of the masters of the first branch. They are the most cruel. Having weighed the situation, she decided to return home. 
She too much did not want to cross paths with them again. Then she noticed that a young guy came out of the building. She wondered who he was and what he forgot there. Chaz was heading home. In his hands he was holding a book on multiplication that Tanya gave him. The path to becoming a hero is not easy. But he has one step left. He just needs to push himself a little. Suddenly a happy Andre came out to meet him. It seems he even recognized him and was glad to see him. Chaz ran towards his friend. It seems that his memories really came back to him. Andre confirmed Chaz's guesses. He remembered everything, and that's why he wanted to meet him. The villain was sitting around the corner. He was happy that his plan was a success. It was so easy to control the little people. The only thing that seemed strange to Chaz was that Andre was kind to him. He clearly didn't like him before. Andre asked his friend for forgiveness and attacked him with a knife. It's not his fault. He's doing all this to protect his family. Suddenly Anya appears, attacks the villain, and prevents her brother from attacking his friend. At first the man didn't understand who attacked him, but it turned out to be just the guy's sister. But at least she was braver than her brother. The monster was surprised that this was a human girl. Her movements were like those of a dog. It seemed to him as if he was fighting with a mad dog. Anya pounced on the enemy and wanted to attack him from behind, but it was a big mistake. He had a trump card. The girl was injured and the monster laughed. Now she does not look like a dog, but rather like a cute puppy. Andre was in complete shock. He could not have expected that his own sister would turn out to be a hero. And this monster has turned into an even more terrible creature. If this continues, Anya could seriously suffer. He understood that he could not stand still. He needed to intervene somehow, but he did not know what to do. Anya assessed the monster. He has a maximum increase in physical level. He is probably at the yellow level. But then why is he wandering around the area? She cannot believe that she will have to fight the yellow one alone, without the masters. But this does not scare her. It only excites her. Even if the monster manages to overtake her, she has the ability to suddenly change speed, so he has no way to grab the girl. But it was a fatal mistake. His teeth on her back grabbed Anya again and inflicted another wound on her. Those mouths on his body move of their own free will. They simultaneously protect him and attack Anya. All her attacks do not harm him. He has absolute defense. She realized this after her two attacks, and that's why she was able to dodge this time. She can't beat him, at least not yet. But now she's going to give it her all. But she was interrupted by her brother's voice behind her. He shouted that he had fulfilled his part of the deal, and now they could leave. Without waiting for the monster's reaction, Andre grabbed his sister's hand and they ran away. On the way, he tried to explain to Anya that he had an agreement with the monster. If Andre gave him the schoolboy, then he would not touch anyone. Anya didn't listen to him and stopped him in her own way, wondering if her brother was so naive as to believe the monster. She screamed that he was just crazy. He had just left the boy to die. In any situation you need to remain human. The girl did not have time to finish her speech when she realized that the monster had returned and had come to finish them off. With one blow he threw Anya away and said that everything was just gaining momentum and Andre ruined everything. The guy couldn't believe it. They made a deal and he wasn't supposed to touch them. But the monster just laughed in response. Andre was not going to engage in battle with the monster. He tried to escape, but he failed. The monster threw a heavy mailbox at him. The guy realized that it was all his fault. It was he who distracted his sister. It was because of his decisions that they could all die. The monster thanked the guy for his help, but now it was time for them to say goodbye. The beast did not have time to kill Andre when he felt a powerful blow in his direction. How could this be? How dare he? This schoolboy trash needs to know his place and pay for it. But Chaz reminds him that he's not trash, he's a hero. Chaz recalled what the director told him when he was in the hospital. To become the number one hero. Strength alone is not enough. A true hero is one who is able to endure incredible pain, but is a fighter with tremendous resilience. The guy managed to hit the monster. He was very surprised why his mouths did not react and did not protect him. This guy seems to have a lot of potential and could be a huge problem for them in the future. Therefore, before it is too late, we must end it and tear it into small pieces. The monster laughed. This guy needs to forever remember the strength of the great Judy of the elite troops. While Judy was distracted by beating Chaz, Anya took advantage of the moment and, while he was not expecting it, attacked him. The monster was surprised. She even scared him a little. It's surprising how she still had strength left. It seemed that Judy was done with everyone. But then Andre stood up. He said that he couldn't stand it anymore and wanted to save his sister. The monster tore off the guy's hands in a second, which is what he hoped for. He was a fool if he thought that he could do something if he plucked up the courage. He's just a 30-year-old loser who has spent his entire life denying reality and couldn't even find a job. While the monster was mocking Andre, he did not notice that Anya had gained strength again and was trying to attack him. Andre threw himself into Judy's mouth. 
He knew that he was a failure, but now he has a chance to prove himself one last time and die with dignity. Anya grabbed the monster by the hand. Andre held him in front, and now Chaz can attack him. Maybe they can all do it together. A rescue team soon arrived at the scene of the battle, and Tati actively tried to save Andre's life. Due to the fact that she already revived the guy two days ago, tissue regeneration is now proceeding slowly. After assessing what had happened here, Ian concluded that of all possible strategies, this was the worst. Meanwhile, the wounded Judy tried to escape. He knew that he could not stand another battle with the heroes, but he couldn't get far. Ian stood in his way, and he wasn't going to just let the monster go. However, Judy is not so simple, and he has an ace up his sleeve. He planted a bomb in the building in advance, and if he is not released, many innocents will die. But the hero didn't care. He just stood and watched as the monster carried out the countdown and blew up the building. This made Judy hysterical. How could he allow this to happen? He is a hero, and now the blood of innocent people is on his hands. Ian didn't think so. He didn't do anything wrong. It was the monster who killed them all, and now they will kill him. After the death of the monster, Tani approached and reported that all the people had been evacuated several hours ago, and the injured heroes were now stable. She is haunted by the thought that the yellow rank monster was found so late. If they had been a little more late, the damage could have been much worse. Ian assumed that it was not their fault, but that the monster planned everything and hid the activation of his rank card. At this moment, Harvey arrived. He believed that the appearance of a high-ranking mysterious person required his presence. But he decided, just in case, to clarify whether they believed that Harvey might be involved in this. The next day, Ian arrived at the director's office to ask for permission to conduct a secret investigation. Joaquin looked at the photo. He guessed why the monster did this. Twelve years of diplomatic relations and sudden death in peacetime. But if the peacekeeping system, which is supposed to detect uncontrollable monsters in advance, did not work, then this is a big problem. Suddenly, everything that happened is not an exception, but the beginning of something bigger, and more serious monsters will begin to appear. This is the first such incident since the beginning of the era of peace, but still the director does not understand why Ian wants to keep this a secret. Ian asked Joaquin to turn the photo over, and on the back he saw the torn inscription, Utopia. Just three years ago, Utopia was a small organization, but since the Peace Association invested in them, they have become number two in the market. Their conversation was interrupted by Tani and Chaz. He already looked healthy. His regenerative functions were much better than those of an ordinary person. Ian said that since the intern was under his care, he was going to send him to the hero camp. Sending an intern who has only been working for them for three days to the camp seems too reckless to the director. But Ian made a decision. He is going to train Chaz for a month, since he does not have enough base. Then he needs to deceive the system and become a hero in a different way. Every year, each division of heroes selects two trainees. They are sent to assessment camps where they will take tests to become workers. Ada, the leader of the assessment camp group, is wondering who will become an employee this year. Due to the lack of participants, the headquarters sent a robot model T12 to cover the shortage. Trainees from all divisions have already arrived. Only the first division participants are 20 minutes late. Ada doesn't understand why they even joined this year if they can't pull themselves together. If they fail to arrive on time for the test, which begins at noon, they will be automatically disqualified. At this time, all the trainees have already gathered and are sitting waiting for further orders. Klaus from the 2nd Division was bored with waiting and decided to evaluate his opponents. Only women arrived from the 4th Division. They probably thought that by wearing military vests, they would appear stronger. And the 3rd Division is generally something special. They look like they came from some part-time job in the middle of nowhere. The robot actually surprised him. It looks like a doll that is here to play chess with. Anya from Division 4 got tired of hearing all this and yelled at Klaus to shut up. But this only amused him. A girl who looks even more attractive in his eyes when she's angry. Her colleague Hannah said not to pay attention to him. He was just provoking her because fights in the camp are strictly prohibited. After examining everyone present, Klaus decided that there were no worthy opponents for him here. The only one worth worrying about is the guy from the first division who hasn't arrived yet. Division 1 usually doesn't send anyone to the camp. Rumor has it that it's because they don't accept trainees weaker than themselves. Suddenly the door swings open and a huge man walks in. Exactly what they expected to see. Klaus is horrified. He has exceeded all his expectations. He is certainly a truly talented person. But it turned out that this thug was just an escort. He invited some nondescript guy into the room. Everyone present was shocked. They never expected to see a schoolboy as a trainee in the first division. Coach Rebecca greeted the trainees in the courtyard. 
Thanks to her extensive work experience, she can determine the mental state of the trainees. And this year she feels a lot of excitement, especially coming from the big yellow-haired guy. Klaus was furious. He couldn't understand why the first division sent this particular guy. The bully went on and on shouting at Chaz, but he remained completely unperturbed. But Anya expected to see a schoolboy here. She had already seen him in battle and knew what he was capable of. But now only her grades are important to her. Meanwhile, Klaus still couldn't calm down and became hysterical, even ignoring the coach's commands. Therefore, Rebecca did not bother with him and resorted to force to bring him to his senses. The coach made it clear that she was ready to see any manifestations of emotion here, but she would not tolerate disobedience. For the first task, she will divide the participants into groups so that they can strengthen their bonds. Chaz and Anya were in the first team of tigers. The girl was not very pleased with this because she did not want to get involved with him. Chaz tried to talk to her, and she replied that she would not apologize to him for what happened. Her conscience was clear, but it seemed the guy didn't care. The first task is a raid, where teams need to clear the dungeon from small monsters and defeat the main boss. This is a good opportunity to show off your heroic skills and the teams that can defeat the yellow boss are the winners. The winners will receive an advantage in the next stage, and those in last place will automatically be eliminated. Klaus immediately rushed into battle, he was absolutely confident in his abilities, and was aimed at winning. Anya also did not waste time and ran with her partner, jokingly shouting that she was ready to wait for Chaz. But the joke turned out to be true. The guy was weak in sports and could not catch up with his partners and was generally tired. Meanwhile, the wolf team defeated the main boss of the dungeon and was the first to complete the challenge. Rebecca was surprised. They did it in just 10 minutes, although there are two of them on the team. Not even every worker could do it in that time. Hearing that the first team had finished the task, Klaus got angry with his team. If they had not interfered and let him do everything himself, they would have finished by now too. Anya knew that Hannah was very capable, but if they continued to stand still, they would not reach the boss at all. Therefore, in order to continue their journey, they had to take Chaz in their arms, otherwise he would have slowed them down. They ran through the dungeon for a long time, but to their great surprise, they still did not meet a single monster. Sitting in the office and watching what was happening, Ada was delighted with the success of the wolf team. The previous record was set a long time ago and was 30 minutes. But an employee disturbed her, saying that there was a problem on the mission and she urgently needed to go to the control room. The tiger team finally reached the boss. He was truly gigantic and shouted that he was very hungry. Imagine their surprise when they saw that another monster, an even more enormous monster, had emerged from behind the boss and was now heading towards them. The team without fear rushed into battle at the monster, but it did not succumb to any of their blows. In the control room of the headquarters, they found out that body number one had escaped. It seems this is some kind of glitch in the system. Perhaps it is worth stopping the test. Rebecca came up and was categorically against stopping the test, because the camp's task was to select the best trainees. Ada agreed to continue despite the fact that an orange level monster was a good opportunity to test their compatibility. In the Tiger team, all participants use hand-to-hand -hand combat. It just suits the situation. Realizing that the team was unable to defeat the boss, they requested a pause to think about their further strategy. The program worked and the boss paused. Now they have time to develop a plan of attack. These three have a chance to overtake the Lions team if they work together. The fight continued, but at some point Mark from the 3rd Division realized that he did not have enough brute strength for the battle. Taking advantage of his weakness, the monster swallowed the hero and was very pleased. He turned out to have a strawberry flavor. Meanwhile, the Lion team was also fighting their boss, with Lee using his water power against the monster. But this had the exact opposite effect. The system considered it hydration, and the monster regained 10% of its health. Klaus was angry again, again his team was letting him down, why was he always paired with some mediocrity? Anya used a change of form, the spirit of a dog. She grabbed Chaz and ran so that the monster could not catch up with them and eat them like Mark. And the lion team came up with a plan, Lee gathered his strength and imprisoned the entire monster in a water prison, you just need to keep him. Klaus, in turn, directed his electric charge towards the boss, despite the fact that his partner was in the water. The main boss of the lion team was defeated. Klaus was jubilant and did not care at all that he and the monster fried Lee. A voice came over the loudspeaker and announced that the next team to pass the test was the Tiger Team. A moment before the victory of the Lion Team, Mark, gathering his courage, destroyed the boss from the inside, who is now delicious. Mark is a 28th generation descendant of goblins, and he used a special blow when he felt the blood of his partners spilled due to his fault. He apologized to them for what happened. He believed that he had disrespected them. The master told Anya about the third division, 
They can use the power of the gods, their potential beyond human imagination. The first test is over, each participant will have time to recover, and then everyone will need to gather in the training room. After the raid, Klaus was hiding in the toilet and talking to someone on the phone. He admitted his guilt to his teammate. He screamed and begged for forgiveness. He would have won if the team had not had a useless partner, and next year, he would definitely take gold. The voice on the phone said that he was giving Klaus one last chance, and that his time in the camp had not yet come to an end. Anya's wounds were shallow, and the spirit of Atmos was able to heal her quite quickly. Now she is as good as new. Among the spirits, Atmos have helped people from time immemorial, but in modern times they have nothing to do, so they earn their living here. Anya was lucky that she only had a few scratches, but if it weren't for that goblin, everything could have ended much worse. Chaz came up to meet the girl. He was worried about her and wanted to know how she was doing. She had something to tell him. He didn't show himself at all at the first test, and it would be better if he left. Lee came out of the treatment room. Anya assumed that since he was the only one of their team injured, they were not able to cooperate normally. But Lee tried to convince them that they misunderstood everything because of Klaus. He only seemed so rude at first glance. In the 12th generation of 2nd Division trainees, Klaus was a Ray, which is why he was sent to the camp. And among hundreds of other candidates, he chose Lee as his partner. He saw potential in him. Anya was not at all convinced by this touching speech. She was sure that Klaus chose Lee because he was brainwashed. Lee is upset that they don't believe him, but he agrees that he doesn't deserve to be here. He asked the heroes to try for him too. Chaz tried to console the guy by saying that those who cry have no right to give up. Everyone did their best, but two teams, wolves and tigers, advanced to the second round, and the lions are eliminated. Lee was very angry and blamed himself for the loss. If not for him, Klaus would have succeeded, and he is the weak link. Much to his surprise, Klaus was not angry, but supported him. He told him not to be upset, because he knew that Lee tried. The difference between the lion and tiger teams was only four seconds, so the camp took a rare chance and will allow them to stay here. Lee felt inspired. Would they really give him a chance? Would they really believe in him and he could stay in the camp? Hearing about the chance, Klaus immediately attacked his partner, and got rid of him with one blow. He knew that a second chance is given only to one of the team members, and since one has already dropped out, that means Klaus remains. Anya was amazed at how disgusting this guy was, but Hannah calmed her down and asked her to control herself. Once those who passed have been determined, it's time to move on to the second test, a one-on-one -on -one duel. Klaus noticed how they were looking at him and approached his hated rival, Chaz. It seems he is running into trouble. Anya saw this and only hoped that no one was going to do anything prohibited. Chaz was not going to wait for Klaus to start a fight and decided to act first. He swung his hand to hit the thug, but Klaus is faster and stronger. He would have had the strength to kill the schoolboy on the spot, but Anya intervened and managed to throw him off. Coach Rebecca ordered this to stop. If they continue, she will eliminate them right now. Hannah looked at Anya disapprovingly. Everything was clear in her gaze. Anya understood that she should not have interfered. Yes, she was wrong, but if she had not intervened, that schoolboy could have been hurt, and Klaus was in danger. Even if he died, nothing terrible would happen. If Anya felt sympathy for him because they were on the same team, then we need to stop. We must not forget that everyone here is each other's competitors, and there is no point in showing weakness. The first battle of the second stage begins with Chaz from the first division and Klaus from the second division. Instructor Yang approached the scene of the battle and explained that this was not an ordinary duel, but a duel with a reward. You are allowed to use any skills and weapons. The battle ends when one of the participants gives up or can no longer fight. The winner can take any characteristics of the opponent as a reward. Klaus was confident in himself, and therefore put all his skills on the line. But Chaz does not have many characteristics. And in order to even the bet, he will have to bet money as well. This suited the guy, but he said that if he won, he would not take Klaus's characteristics for himself, but would give them to Lee. Klaus was tired of the chatter and got ready for battle. He activated his suit and was going to use all his power. In the third division, heroes use advanced technology and this allows them to rise above other heroes. For a moment, Klaus felt nervous, but he tried to push away these thoughts. No one had a chance to defeat him in a fully armored suit. He struck the first blow. It was so powerful that it seemed to Anya that Chaz had no chance. Ian also watched the duel. He shouted that if Chaz loses, he will kill him with his own hands, so let him go and show everyone. The guy heard the words of his mentor and was determined to fight, he was not going to lose. Chaz not only survived Klaus's attack, but also dealt him a strong blow in response. The enemy was amazed at the guy's strength. Klaus sees himself as the leader of the new technology, and technology dominates this era. 
so he simply cannot lose. He turned his suit to maximum and was going to put absolutely all his energy into the next blow. Ian, who was watching what was happening, noticed that the forces of the second division were not bad, but he still had no chance. Chaz withstood this powerful enemy attack, because Klaus is not the only one who has a suit. At this time the Lightning Man, a hero from the second division nicknamed the Knight, joined the observers. He was delighted with the duel. He did not expect that a newcomer from the first division could perform so well. This is all for a reason. Ian trained his successor for a whole month and taught him to control anger, because it is anger that allows the guy to increase his strength. Even though Klaus was sure that the power of science was great, Chaz was stronger today. Instructor Ian stopped the fight and declared Chaz the winner. Due to the fact that his opponent could no longer continue the duel, everyone was surprised, especially Anya. She recalled that she had recently told the guy that he was too weak to be a hero. She couldn't believe that he had been fooling her all this time and was only pretending to be weak. She wanted to hear an explanation from him. The girl again could not control her emotions and attacked Chaz. The coach tried to separate them, threatening with disqualification. Lightning Man was terribly upset. He could not believe that all the participants in his division were eliminated, and Ian only gloated. Their quarrel was interrupted by Ada, saying that there was a serious problem and they urgently needed to go through with it. Ada's assistant approached the workers and said that the first round was over and it was time to put the duel site in order. The workers were in a good mood and jokingly went to do their work, not even noticing that something was happening to the assistant. The second round begins. Mark and Hannah compete. The coach asked what they were going to bet. Mark bet half his strength. Hannah did the same. She wanted to keep her advantage gained in the first round. The goblin knew that this woman was strong. His elder had warned him about her abilities, so he was ready. But he's not the only one who knows a lot about his opponent, so Hannah may yet surprise him. The girl invited the goblin to take a walk in the mountains. He could not understand where he ended up, whether it was a hallucination. There's no time to figure it out. But if these really are mountains, then Mark feels great here. He rushed to attack the girl, but instead of her, he saw how he attacked his elder. She professionally manipulated his mind. The girl was insanely strong, and Mark realized that he had no way of defeating her, at least in human form. The master told Mark that taking the form of a goblin is very dangerous. If you don't restrain it strongly enough, it will take over a person's consciousness in a minute. The student remembered his master's order, so he was aware of all the risks and was ready to deal with the enemy in less time. Having let the goblin into his consciousness, he mercilessly attacked the girl. She simply did not have the opportunity to fight back. Here the battle is abruptly interrupted by instructor Ian and Hannah from the third division is declared the winner. Anya knew that her older partner was incredibly strong, but each time she continued to delight and surprise more and more. Mark woke up and didn't want to accept his defeat. He didn't even understand how it all happened. So he rushed to attack the girl, but his elder stopped him, explaining that Hannah suppressed him with her chi, and he lost consciousness, and all he saw was just a dream. After the end of the duel, Coach Yang noticed that there was no one watching on the balcony. Where did they all go? They were just here. Ada explained to those present that they put robots in the empty candidate seats, because the first division is always absent. This modern robot is called Electrobrain, and among other things, he helps the second division. After the story about the robot, Ada immediately shackled the Lightning Man so that he could not interfere. Ian did not understand what was happening here and wanted to attack the woman, but she convinced him to stop. He needs to listen to her. The main purpose of the T-17 robot is to be an observer in the second division, so he was on the same team with them. He noticed a change in Klaus's behavior when he dropped out. It would have been logical to feel disappointed, but he felt afraid. After this, the robot interfered with the program of his suit and heard someone telling Klaus that he had to calm down otherwise he would die. Ada heard about the strangeness of the second division, and therefore placed the T-17 with them for observation. In addition, the camp has had a tradition since the first season. The participant with the most points is awarded a piece of the armor of the Golden Captain statue. It's just an ore without the slightest hint of magical power. But for some reason Klaus was so eager to get it. Meanwhile, the Lightning Man tried to convince everyone to free him. He could explain everything, but he was hard to hear. As a result, he managed to free his mouth, and he began to shout that he knew nothing. His superiors had not reported anything like that to him. However, no one paid attention to him. Ada ordered Ian to conduct a secret investigation and not to involve anyone in it. Suddenly the robot spoke, saying that people who have responsibility in danger will protect themselves even more. Ada immediately shackled the T-17. Robots should not start speaking until they are ordered to. But the car did not stop. He continued to talk and read various quotes from the Bible. The woman was terrified, 
It seems the robot was completely taken over by a man. Ian was more decisive and blew off the machine's head. But even without a head, the robot continued to speak. Everything he said was all a lie. Ian could not understand anything. He began to ask questions to the robot, or whoever was in it about who he was and what he needed. A woman's head came out of the robot's head and said that they were asking the wrong questions. The main question was why she had gathered them here. Meanwhile, at the training ground, workers were finishing up cleaning up after the second round. Suddenly, Ada's assistant's mouth began to burst. Everyone ran away, but no one managed to get far. From the mouth of the assistant appeared a goat, a servant from Utopia, and a huge monster named Glutton. The interns were standing on the second floor when all this happened. Suddenly, it suddenly became dark, and a second later, everyone in the room was dead. Anya didn't understand how this was possible. There were camp workers there with the best characteristics, but they were torn to pieces so quickly. The goat pointed his finger at the heroes, calling them gold, and ordered the monster to grab them. They are needed to complete their plan. The glutton found her boss too noisy. She didn't want to listen to him and simply tore his head off. The glutton hates everyone, but most of all he hates empty chatter. So it's time to move on to the heroes. Mark was stunned. It was the first time he had seen such a terrifying monster. But he was brought to his senses by the voice of his senior partner. He said to come to his senses and hide behind him. If he doesn't want to die, the Elder will protect him again. The Elder entered the battlefield. He does not know how many times his blade can hit the monster, but he will fight to the last. Mark said that other heroes should not worry. His partner is a genius who appears once every hundred years. Only he can defeat such a monster. The fighter of the 4th Division was indeed able to immediately wound his opponent. It seems that this was the first time for Glutton. Anya couldn't believe her eyes. He was able to defeat the monster, and he was definitely not below the red level. But to everyone's surprise, this was not the end. The monster rose up, as if it had not been wounded, and attacked the hero. His ribs and neck were broken. He did not know how much force he was dealing with. He definitely felt that he had struck a monster. When Glutton was ready to deal the final blow, Hannah intervened and enveloped her in her illusion. Hannah's abilities were enough to hold the monster and subsequently rip his head off. The battle is over. Finally, Anya felt relieved. She always knew that Hannah was special and could cope with opponents not like her. All this was another deception of the glutton. In fact, it was she who killed Hannah. Now the heroes have no hope left. They are next.